Hello and welcome everyone. Thanks for taking the time out of your day to join us for this webinar. My name is Pat Hills. I'm the segment manager for Tremble Survey Business at Cancel. We're extremely pleased to introduce to you the Trimble SX10 Scanning Total Station. I want to start by saying that this webinar is meant to provide an overview of this new technology. I won't be getting into a deep dive processing scans or taking data to downstream software. Of course, we have a host of professionals at Cancel who can assist you in that regard at any time following this call. Also, given the number of attendees, we will have this we have today, this will be a one-way webinar, so I'll ask you to direct any questions you have either to me or to your Cancel office or rep. Um, you may be able to see my email address there, but it will also be on the last slide at the end of the webinar. Trimble SX-10 scanning total station, and then there was one. The Trimble SX-10 is the most innovative surveying solution ever engineered. It truly merges high-speed 3D scanning, high accuracy serving measurements and enhanced imaging capability into one seamless solution. The user interface will be very easy for new users of Trimble equipment and it will be very fam familiar to all of you who already use Trimble equipment and Trimble access field software. The brilliant instrument design from Trimble's folks in Sweden is comprised of new Lightning 3DM measurement technology which I'll talk about a little bit more later high-speed 3D scanning, high-accuracy prism and DR measurement, reflector measurements, without compromising speed, range, or accuracy. It also has enhanced Trimble Vision System leveraging combination of calibrated cameras and high-speed communications. This gives us fast and precise control of all measurements and data capture in the field. Look how happy this guy is. This could be you. The system has very familiar operational workflows, so one of the biggest barriers for surveyors to adopt 3D scanning has been the complexity of the workflow, the point cloud registration and cleanup, and just the process to turn it into something usable and deliverable. Scanning represents a departure from how surveyors usually work. In many cases, survey companies hire specialists solely to handle their scanning needs. The SX-10 solves this problem by using familiar survey workflows in the field and the office so it works the way surveyors do. If you've done work using a terrestrial scanner, you know that you need targets or spheres to register scans, more recently cloud-to-cloud -cloud registration. With the SX-10, the registration is done automatically through conventional traversing. If you know Trimble Access, you'll know how to use an SX-10. When you're done in the field, you just drag and drop the file into TBC and your scanning, imaging, and surveying data is ready to work on all together in one place. No registration of point clouds is necessary. Just start creating deliverables immediately. This is an extremely versatile system. The versatility of the SX-10 means that you can use the instrument every day for traditional jobs, ensuring that it never sits idle in the office waiting for just the right job. But you can also incorporate scanning into those traditional survey workflows. We can reduce operational costs, expand your business into new measurement opportunities. This is one investment with an unlimited applications. So the system components uh, are comprised of the SX-10 scanning total station, the Trimble tablet, Trimble access software on the tablet, robotic rod and accessories, Trimble Business Center, and or Trimble Realworks. I don't know if anyone's noticed yet, but this instrument doesn't have an eyepiece. The advanced robotic scanning and imaging technology on this instrument has rendered this component obsolete. Imagine that. Just a highlight of the specifications. Uh, it's the SX-10 comes in only a one-second accuracy version. The accuracy using a prism is 1.1 millimeter plus 1.5 parts per million. And in reflectorless mode, 2 millimeters plus 1.5 parts per million. The spot size is the smallest in the industry. 8 millimeters at 50 meters, 14 millimeters at 100 meters. 5.5 kilometer range to a prism and 800 meter reflectorless range. We can lock onto a prism and have it follow the prism 800 meters away. 
We do, the, do this using long range radio and onboard Wi Fi. Band scanning technology in the instrument allows us to scan at a rate of 26,000 points a second with spacing of 6.25 millimeters to 50 millimeters at 50 meters. And this is customizable very easily in the triple access interface. And a long range scanning capability of up to 600 meters. The enhanced vision in this instrument is comprised of five integrated cameras, all with five megapixel or better resolution, overview and primary cameras, a coaxial telescope camera, and a video plummet camera. Also need to mention here that unlike most scanners, we've got an environmental IP rating of 55, so five out of six dust proof and one short of submersible in the waterproof rating. And it'll work to minus 20 Celsius. So some system benefits, uh, the incorporation of 3D scanning technology into familiar survey and field uh, workflows will, with full integration with Trimble Access, Trimble Business Center, and Trimble RealWorks. The benefits of an instrument like this that's this versatile will lead you to a faster return on your investment. You won't need specialized personnel, so operation costs go down. This also brings down training costs. The ability to produce site imagery with the SX-10 will improve communication between the field and the office. It will also eliminate costly revisits to the site to collect missing data. It's all in the images. The SX-10 is built for surveyors by surveyors. We want to mention at this point that as part of the development project, extensive customer feedback was incorporated to ensure the SX-10 solution truly addresses the needs of the surveyor. Over the last 18 months, Trimble engaged key surveying and engineering firms to use the X-10 on real-world projects as part of a worldwide beta program. The, next, the net result is that Trimble SX-10 provides surveyors with a familiar solution that fits seamlessly into traditional workflows, as well as the innovation versatility to enable them to transform and expand their business into different areas. At Cancel, we only learned recently that, in fact, some of the biggest engineering firms in Canada were part of this test team. There are many benefits to a system like this, as you can imagine. Take -home, the the take-home message in this uh, slide is the last bullet point. Avoid site revisits for missed details. A tagline that you'll you'll see often if you follow Trimble is capture now, measure later. It's all in the images. So if you forget to collect a point in the field, it's going to be in the images that are all geo-referenced. So by doing terrestrial photogrammetry, even if you haven't scanned that point, we can create new coordinates out of photographs. For roading and corridor surveys, the SX-10 allows us to spend less time in the field, capture more data, and reduce the need for costly traffic management. In the office, automated ground extraction tools enable us to quickly create project deliverables, generating surface models, contour plans, and cross-sections. You can create terrific site visualization models in TBC as well. For forensic and action, accident collision reconstructionists, this is key for rapid clearance of collisions and pileups on the highway. This is just an image of a topographic survey an intersection. We've got a slide a little bit later that talks about the ability to pause scans, something that you can't easily do with a traditional terrestrial scanner. It's a quotation from Mr. McCauley from WSP. I think he's even joining us on this webinar today. Of course, using a scanner for stockpiles is a no-brainer for safety reasons. But with the SX-10, we can use familiar prism measurements for the surface base and brake lines, and then use the scanner to rapidly capture contour data. Then within Trimble Business Center, all the data is seamlessly combined to generate volumetric reports. You can use the SX-10 to quickly capture rich asset information on bridge scans, dams, cell towers. For for a very long time in my career, I've talked about the benefits of equipment that allow us to measure objects that are either dangerous, inconvenient, 
or inaccessible. In the mid-90s, we accomplished this with reflectorless total stations. Now look at the implications of those difficult measurement predicaments with the SX-10. You can collect fast, accurate, covert measurements remotely and safely. You can really see from these applications how the SX-10 can expand your measurement expertise outside of the types of surveying you're doing now. Building as-builts, building a facade representations, tank calibration inspection, power lines, utility design surveys, mines and quarries, and dimensional control. I mentioned the 3D, Lightning 3DM earlier. This new technology combines the smallest spot size, true 3D scanning with automatic registration with server control. This is all integrated with the enhanced and improved vision system on the SX-10. The SX-10 deflects the beam much like a true laser scanner, allowing us to move the beam at a high speed through the slower horizontal and vertical movements of the instrument. All other scanning total stations will simply pulse their laser at a high rate. The problem with that is you're tied to the speed at which the horizontal and vertical movements of the instrument are capable of moving. The SX-10 scans quickly, efficiently, quietly, and requires relatively low power since there is very little burden put on the motors of the instrument. I touched on earlier that the, the fact that you can pause and remove and resume scans with the SX-10. Instead of wasting time and effort scanning what you don't want, simply pause your scan, continue to perform other measurement tasks, then move on to restart your scan if you need to. Any of you who have scanned with a terrestrial scanner on an intersection know that when a bus stops right beside you, you have to start the scan over again, and really you're not doing anything else while you've paused that scan. With the SX-10, you can get out your prism and take reflectorless measurements, robotic measurements, and then in triple access while you hit resume scan, it will pick up right where it left off. It's a little graphic of the enhanced vision system showing all fields of view, telescope camera, the primary camera, and the overview camera. And in the lower left of this image is a photograph that was taken of the screen on the Trimble tablet. So it's seeing what the instrument is seeing at 340 meters away. This is at level 6 out of 8 optical zoom on this instrument. This next slide here gives you a comparison between what you see on the left with a traditional robotic total station, in this case Trimble S7, but regardless of the type of instrument you're using, they're all 30 power magnification. That's what it looks like from 340 meters away. And on the right side is what you see on your tablet from the SX-10. We have two further levels of zoom on the SX-10. Level 7 and 8 are both digital. You can see it's a very clear image and allow, allows you to pinpoint very accurately from well over a thousand feet away. And just another slide here that shows examples of different levels of zoom. So on the right, we use the overview camera to roughly point. When we zoom in, the SX-10 automatically switches to the primary image camera. And then when we zoom in even further, it switches to the telecamera the coaxial telecamera and the telescope. This level of detail is clearly visible on these images when you drop them into TBC as well, Trimble Business Center. We can take panoramic photos from, with the Trimble SX-10 as well. Terrific for documentation, of course, for colorizing of point clouds. I mentioned another camera on the instrument. There's an SX-10 plummet camera. You can check your level and visual setup for robotic connection remotely. So imagine being hundred, hundreds of meters away and wanting to check your optical plummet. Well, you can do it now through the video camera that's looking through the optical, uh, combination optical and video plummet on the instrument. 
And this image can be captured and stored for QAQC purposes as well, as we can see from this next slide. So just by taking a snapshot, it shows your dislevelment of the instrument in the trunnion that the compensator was on, the height of the instrument, and that sort of thing. Parts per million you've got set for uh, temperature correction. But if you're old school, you can also use the optical plummet using the new split optics tribrac. So we use the optical plummet for course measurement and the camera for fine adjustment, allowing um, both methods in the field to plumb over your point, your control point. The SX-10 is built on proven existing Trimble technologies that we have in our S-series robots. We've got the true mag drive and sure point to ensure accurate pointing. Precise endless motion controls, low power consumption, all of this reduces wear and tear on the instrument. And the sure point automatically corrects for unwanted movement due to wind, handling, and sinkage, and accurate pointing on the prism and only the prism every time you take a shot. Of course, we want to make this instrument even more versatile by allowing for integrated surveying using robotic GNS and scanning, all with this one instrument. When you switch from scanning, you can automatically go back to GNSS or robotic work, all in the same job file. So there's nothing in the field that you won't be able to survey and capture using images, scanning, GPS, and robotic prism measurements. Just a couple of snapshots on the right side of this slide that shows the gesture controls and the display on the Trimble tablet. With two-finger gesture controls, you can orbit, pan, and zoom in and out without changing modes. For those of you who hasn't, you haven't used vision on a Trimble robot before, imagine you're hundreds of meters away from the instrument. You can pan on the screen to turn the instrument, zoom in on a building corner beside you to take reflect, reflectorless measurements. There's also no better way to acquire the prism af after you've walked behind an obstacle. Just rotate to find yourself on the screen and tap on the prism. The instrument will immediately lock back onto it. And we have a new scanning module in Trimble Business Center, of course, to accommodate the new integrated workflow. This workflow is complete with cloud registration ref and refinement, georeferencing, network adjustment, with our deliverables, we can extract CAD points, automatic classification, automatic ground extraction, and cutting planes. We can automatically extract features from the point clouds, create regions based on classification, like ground, buildings, poles and signs, vegetation, that sort of thing. Second bullet point there shows that we can export from Trimble Business Center and access all the industry standard scanning file types to go into any downstream software of your choice. If you require extended point cloud capabilities, these are all available in Trimble RealWorks. So we can create contours from ground surfaces, incorporate ortho imagery, and perform auto classification of your point cloud in a ground vegetation and buildings, for example. We can also do floor flatness and floor level mill and fill work on wet concrete immediately in the field. Just one more slide here that just to differentiate between the Trimble SX10 and Trimble's new TX6 and TX8 dedicated tripod scanners. With the SX10, the applications require it's good for applications that require a survey workflow, an integrated surveying, scans that require a longer range up to 600 meters, or scans that benefit, benefit from traversing through corridors, building exterior facade, low level building information modeling, bridge clearance, open pits, tank calibration. With Trimble's TX6 and TX8, we would use those for applications requiring maximum detail on complex objects, or if we need a high number of stations for entire large building interiors, full detailed surveys of bridges, underground mines, 
entire entire oil and gas plants. And I want to thank you for joining us today. That's a wrap. I'm going to give you a few minutes back to your day. Hope you're all as excited as we are with the possibilities that this new piece of equipment represents for our industry. I believe you all know where to find us for more information. You can contact your local CanSell office to request more information and to set up a de demonstration. The SX-10 will be prominent in all of our trade shows and events this year. I also want to mention that we've recorded this webinar and it will be made available to all attendees. So I encourage you to share this with your colleagues. Thanks again, everyone, and have an accurate day.